Hi, I'm Isaac here with Snowball Esports. Uh, right after Mammoth won the OPL Grand Final at Rod Laver Arena, 3-0. I'm here with Triumph at Top Lane of Fudge. And um, <laughs> is this kind of what you expected when you first joined the OPL? I mean, when I was first coming into the OPL, it was sort of like uh, I was known as like a upco upcoming top laner. So I did get a lot of like praise and stuff, and I s tried to make sure I didn't, that I didn't let it get to me. And I think that's helped me like improve. I made sure I was like always improving. So I was, was sort of expecting to win <laughs> to coming in today. We had to. If you want to win, you have to expect to win. Confidence. I like it. I like it. Um, one of the, the things that I guess comes out of that game is, is game three. You have a, a little bit of a rough start mm -hmm. on, a, on a champion that kind of once that happens, yep. things are going south. Yep. Um, and you still managed to, to make it work completely. You know, there was that TP play. Yep. You, um, <laughs> you nicked the dragon from under their noses. Yeah. Um, w walk me through that. You know, what were the calls? What were you thinking when that was all going down? Um, due to like, I mean, because of how... We, we always watch a lot of international like VODs and the way that people play, even when they're playing like champions like Ch Jace and stuff, they, they still like don't get, they don't get desperate. They don't look for like bad players. They still just like keep their cool. They just play like well, they don't make mistakes and then the better, play, the better team wins. So that's the way I played Jace today. I was make, making sure like I didn't, um, I didn't like uh, over force anything. Even though I did a couple times, but you know, it, happens. it happens to the best of us. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I was just like trying to get whatever I could out of like, like for example, the dragon. Um, yeah, the team like was very like calm, even despite the bad like start. Mm. You've got players like Triple, like King. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they've won <laughs> as many titles as you can win. Yeah. They've been to Worlds. Um, you've got Fantix as a coach, and he's another veteran. Yeah. Do you feel like learning from those guys has kind of given you this mentality that, you know, you don't panic, you don't freak out? It's not like a solo queue game where, yeah. you know, everything's going to go wrong. Mm -hmm. Is, have they kind of guided you? Of course they have. Like, Steven, Calvin, Mitch, Leo, like, Topoon, he's, they all helped me. Like, they've all helped me a lot. They always, like, we always, like, review all, like, the international VODs. We always, like, sh always trying to find ways for each other to improve. We always give each other, like, good criticism. Stuff like that is always, like helped us like improve even throughout the split like i'd say at the start of the split we were like like 50 percent as good as we are now like we've improved so much so like i'm pretty like happy with my teammates of course they're very good <laughs> that's always good to hear <laughs> that's always good but um yeah so yeah so. No, no it's all good um i guess the other thing is obviously uh it was touched on on the on the stage interviews but mammoth had a a bit of a rough first split of the year. You know, things don't go well despite having all that kind of veteran talent we touched on. Um, Mitch, Destiny kind of talked about the fact that everybody kind of stepped away and everything like that. Um, what was it like for you, I guess, in the environment of the second split, knowing that everything had happened in the first and, and, and the players were kind of all going through that and, and your mates were going through that? Um, like, going... Because of what happened in the first split, like, everyone was super, like, disappointed. Obviously, they were expected... Their expectations were, like not met so like even though you'd expect them to be like extremely like sad like it, when I moved into the house like st just before like OPL started and split two like it didn't seem like that so it seemed like they, was, they still had like the winner mentality they still like they still had confidence it was just like they they just had to fix like small like mentality issues stuff like that and I don't feel like it was like gameplay that made the split one like uh so bad like uh, for Mammoth. It was mainly just like, it was mainly just mentality. Yeah. So they've improved a lot on that. They've pr improved a lot on that. It sounds like, yeah, like you said, they've improved. Um, you've touched on a couple of times things like you learned from international VODs what to do on Jace, mm -hmm. what not to panic about. Yep. Um, you spoke about, I guess, the, the learnings you've taken from that. Now you get to go there. Mm -hmm. You get to play against teams like this. Yep. Um, at least the play-in stage obviously fingers crossed further than that um has that sunk in yet it actually hasn't until you said it <laughs> so i'm going to be looking forward to versing the top laners i know international top laners especially like the korean ones i think are extremely good so i want to be looking forward to versing them i'm going to improve a lot off versing them so even if we don't make it to our like goal of like late in the group stage or something like that i'm sure i'll come back next year and just smash everyone well, I mean, you've been uh, you've been smashing them now. You know, three zero in the final. That's uh, <laughs> if you if you're coming back even better. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, 
in terms of international stuff, you say you watch teams, you say you learn from players and VODs. Is there anybody, I guess, in the top lane or, or that you've been watching that you are specifically kind of like got your eyes on? As in who I think's the best? No, who do you want to play against? Who I want to play against? Oh, I would want to play against Keen. I think Afrika Keen is the best top lane in the, in the world, I think. So I want to verse him. I want to see what it's like to verse him. I know he's like, I know he's probably going to smash me, but, you know, I'm going to improve and I'm going to get better and I'm going to eventually smash him. That's always the learning experience. You've got to lose a couple of times and then you win. <laughs> no, I guess that's the, the story of your split, you know, a few times yeah, losing to yeah. Chiefs and then mm -hmm. um, coming back. And I don't think anyone would have expected, or maybe you guys did. You seem very <laughs> confident of the 3-0. Yeah. Um, I guess just finally, you know, you, you walk away now as, a, as an OPL champion. Uh, you're about to be an international representative. Yeah. Where do you want to go from here? Um, I think where I want to go internationally. I think um, obviously it'd be great if I got offers internationally. I'm not, I'm not like 100% certain I will, but I'm sure if I reach out to people, they'll give me a chance. But um, we are hoping, like as a team, we're hoping to uh, make it to group stage. I think that's our biggest goal. And if we can do that, it'd be the first O's team to make it past planes and it'd be history making. I know that all of us would um, definitely enjoy it. Maybe a little bit less than you guys, but <laughs> still a lot. Yeah. Um, and if you're looking to go overseas, you know, uh, Nick uh, Nero, uh, <laughs> you know, he's got the history of the poaching. Yeah, you just got to go yeah, find him does. tonight. Yep. Um, and just finally, uh, you guys um, got a little bit, a little bit M-rated, a little bit M-rated on stage. <laughs> was, was that something you were planning to do or did it kind of just slip out? It was 100% slipping out. Like, I... After I said it, like five seconds after I was hearing the crowd roaring, I was like, what? Why are they roaring? I was like, oh, sh <laughs> No, you're allowed to say whatever you want. Oh, here. shit. Like, these guys are like, I just swore. <laughs> I'm, hopefully I don't get fined, but I don't know about it yet. I might get fined. Who knows? Yeah. But it doesn't matter. I'll, I went to Worlds, so. Well, if it's you getting fined, then I think it's about 50% of your team getting fined, too. <laughs> Everyone followed in yeah, your footsteps. Right. Um, look, thanks for the chat. Congratulations on the win. And, um, yeah, good luck for Worlds. Yeah, thank you. Cheers.